review this time on shiny cosmetic brushes that I got for Christmas. So if you would like to continue seeing this video. Okay, so first what I would like to say, I have got this um, brush belt from Shani Cosmetics and I had my brushes in here but I took it out for the review and I just have like my little scissors and also this little lip, cute little lip brush and then it turns from a two piece into a one piece and I think this is really cute it's a lip brush so it helps not to get it all sticky and stuff like that you don't put it in here and wash it so I thought that was okay, really cute. next is for the brushes and there's this cute little um, foundation brush, and this is actually the the F11, and it's just your basic flat um, foundation brush. Next is the Oval Liquid Foundation Brush, which is the F10, and this is how it looks. And here's our very soft, and it's very sturdy, as you can see. So when you get brushes, you want to make sure it's sturdy and you also want to make sure that it's super soft. Next is the, the liquid foundation brush. And it looks like this is just your dual fiber brush. Really cute. Like I said, again, it's soft and it's sturdy. So that's always good. So you want the product to make sure it stays and doesn't drip to the middle. Next is F17 brush, which is the bronzer brush. And this is how it looks. It looks exactly how the, um, the e.l.f. Um, powder brush looks which is this it's just a different color this is the elf brush and this is um the chamois brush the white one this brush would be the f22 which is the slanted finishing brush and it looks like this it has like a bit of an angle came with a spoolie which is always needed so we have the F19 brush, which is also the slanted contour brush. And this one has like a red top on it, which is crazy because this is the only brush in the set that has a different color. But it's cute. Next we have the E17 eyeshadow buffing brush. And it just looks like that. There you go. Cute. Also, it came with the F14, which is the medium powder brush, and this is how it looks. Hello, soft and sturdy, and this is what it looks like. And this is the F14 brush. Next is the M22, which is a mineralized bronzer brush, and this is how it looks. It has a flat top, very sturdy. Once again, very soft. Next, we have the E20, which is the slanted eyeshadow brush. This is how it looks. I'll do it on the back of my hand. This is how it looks. So slanted. And this brush is good to put eyeshadow to get that crease color perfect. Excuse the alarm. This one is the E18 brush, the creamy eyeshadow brush. This is how it looks. E19, which is contour blending brush, and this is how it looks. And this is great to get under the eye or even to do maybe a cup crease. This brush will be F21, which is the blending brush, and once again, this is just to get in the crease and buff that out. And this is how it looks. The M33, which is the mineralized powder brush, and this is how it looks. It's hella soft and it sticks. So when you're buying brushes, make sure that you it can stand up on its own. If it flops over to the side, you'll know that the plot product will go everywhere. So make sure that this brush we is have very have the M21, which is the mineralized blush brush. And this one is also slanted. So it could get right good in with your blushes. Well, also you can use this as like a contour. Their F71, which is the extra large fan brush. And I love these brushes, especially when you I use these brushes for my highlight. I put it in and put it on my highlight and it hits exactly the spots that I want it to hit exactly where I want to hit it. So this brush is now we have the F13, which is the rounded foundation brush. 
and this one will be good to hit those spots and make sure that it's all blended out F13 and I love how it has you know the words for um, the beginners to know exactly what brush does what when they don't have the paper F11 eyeshadow brush and this is just how it looks it's a flat brush the F70 the contour brush <laughs> right there filling those brows the f12 and just another foundation brush but this one is a little bigger this will be like an all over lid brush for just single colors you want to just you know that sweep it up the signature collection brush set that i just showed you next uh what i got for as far as brushes i got um the elf small stippling brush and this is just how it looks And this is great. I use this for like contour and put this under my arm to help blend it out to give it that flawless finish. Next is another angle contour brush. Another lip brush. Just a little like this. Also have a flawless concealer brush. This is another one that's good for under eye or just buffing out that concealer on your brows so it doesn't give you that halo effect. I have a small tapered brush. And this is how it looks. And last but not least, I showed you this earlier. This is the powder brush. Just a flat top surf, a flat top surface. So <clears throat> these are the last of my brushes. I got another small little fan brush. And once again, this is good to just put the highlighter on hit it exactly where you need it another lip brush two more angle brushes another lip brush angle brush this is how it looks a small um shadow brush some small angle brushes and a big eyeshadow brush and if anyone's wondering what I have on my lips that's the Ruby Kisses purple affair and this is how it looks I'll swatch it for you guys very vibrant and the same color that's meant to is exactly how it comes out it's a matte but it's very creamy it glides onto the lip it's not that ruby woo from mac where it's like kind of chalky and direct <music> this is my brush belt all filled back up with all the brushes that i had from um shani cosmetics that i got for christmas and i believe that yeah this is the Shani um, Cosmetic Brush Belt. It just has their symbol on the back. There was a logo on the back. And this is everything that I have in it. And also I had, like I said, my um, little scissors, the two-piece lip brush, and my tweezers for lashes. So I have everything that I need right my handy dandy so these brushes i have not used i will wash them and i will use these on all my clients i have enough more than enough brushes for myself so these brushes will only be for clients when i go work for jobs so if you like this video remember to thumbs up and i'll see you in the next video maybe i'll do shani cosmetics uh with a the contour and blushes that I got this year. Maybe that'll be the next video. Anyway, thank you for watching. Bye.